Hi, I'm Joe Sanok from Practice of the Practice. I'm going to show you how to build a website in 10 minutes. I want you to start at practiceofthepractice.com forward slash host. That's going to take you to Bluehost. You're going to click on Get Started Now. It's going to bring you to this page where you're going to decide which plan you want to do. You definitely don't need the pro when you're first starting out. So what I want you to do is to look at kind of the different features. I'd say that for most people, the plus option is the best option, but the basic will get you almost everything you need. If you're going to be getting a lot of emails, you're going to want to probably look at the unlimited email storage. Uh, but really, uh, it's up to you to decide in regards to your price point. The three to four bucks a month is either way, you know, is going to be great for you. Uh, next, you're going to pick your domain, and so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the new domain if you don't have a domain yet. Once you enter that, you'll click next. Then you're going to enter in all of your account information, your first, last name, business name, all of that, and then you're going to scroll down, and once you scroll down uh, and you've entered in all of this information, what you're going to see next is which package information you want. And honestly, you really don't need all these bells and whistles. Um, you don't need the security site lock. There's plenty of free plugins. Uh, then you're going to enter your credit card information here, which obviously you're not going to see in my video. Then next, that's going to take you to congratulations. You own your website. You have the hosting. Everything is going great. Now you set up your password and you're just going to plug that in. They want a pretty darn secure password. So you're going to start entering in. Um, you don't want it to start uh, or end with a space, have eight characters long, all those different things you're going to walk through. And then, boom, you've successfully created your password. Now let's see what's going to be next. So as everything loads, you're going to then log in, and this is going to take you to your C panel. And your C panel is going to be where you're able to do um, quite a bit of the backend setup. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to click on install WordPress. And so you'll see it right under website, install WordPress. Uh, they have a lot of different options here. You don't have to do any of them. Really, most of it you can do, I would do within the Mojo Marketplace, which is going to be within WordPress. Um, you can do some of these starter packages. You get the theme credits and the WordPress theme installation for 99 bucks. Um, they'll save you a bunch of time, and I would say that probably the $99 or the $249 one are all fine to do uh, if you want to do this yourself. So then what you're going to do is you're going to just uh, get your domain going, and it's going to be integrating WordPress into it. It's going to just take a second here. And then what you're going to do next, you're just going to do the show advanced options, install now, and that's going to give you your password. And then it's going to take you over here to look at some different themes that you can install. Now you can install these themes right from Bluehost, um, or you can do it, which I'm going to show you how to do it from within WordPress. So as it's loading, it shows you some different themes that you can poke around at. Um, they're usually $49 to $59 to install, and then uh, that's for just the theme. But then uh, to have them install, it's usually another 99 bucks or so, which is a great way to kind of bootstrap your website if you're not ready to have a full-on designer do it. And at this point, it's going to show you your login information because it had our username and password. We just deleted that section out. But it's going to be your website.com forward slash WP dash admin usually. And then once you log in, it's going to load, you're going to have your whole welcome wizard that's going to walk you through how to set up all of your website here. So what you're going to do is you're going to name and describe your website. It's a good thing to look at other people in your field. So if you have a counseling private practice, you're probably going to want to have your uh, town, the words counseling, uh, if there's other specific areas. You want to add that into your description. As well, you're going to want to put uh, more of a descriptor on it. So once you click next step, then it's going to say, are you ready to update this? Yes. And it's going to walk you through exactly what you want your visitors to see on your homepage. And so for most people, a static welcome page is the best thing to select. So you'll select that and click next steps. And then the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to walk through some of these starters. So contact us page. Uh, and really WordPress is going to walk you through exactly what to do. Uh, I'm going to say no thanks here. And we're going to connect it all. And then they're going to walk you through exactly how to launch it. So the next thing we need to do is we need to choose our theme. And so in choosing a theme, what you want to do is uh, really look at what are other counselors doing, what kind of matches what you're doing in your private practice. Um, and on the left side here, you'll see a bunch of options. 
Um, but I'm going to show you a few more advanced options in regards to set up, setting up your theme. So what you're going to want to do is over on the appearance side on the left, you'll see it'll take you to themes and you can look at premium themes, you can look at WordPress themes, you can upload your own theme, which I wouldn't recommend right away. Um, but if you look at some of these different featured themes, what you can do is you can search through them for whatever kind of theme you're looking for. If you want one that has more of a pho photography look, if you want to just look at kind of popular themes, it's going to give you a bunch of themes um, that look really great just out of the box. And so say you see one that you really like, you're just going to want to click on it. And um, so you, you'll view preview. Um, so you'll just kind of hover down and click on uh, whatever ones to you look like it might be the kind of theme that you want to check out. And so for this one, for example, we click on it and it's loading and loading, loading. I probably cut a second of this out, but no, but oh, no. Uh, so say you really like this and this might be one that you're going to want to install. So in the upper left, you'll see that bright blue button where it says install. You can install it just by clicking that. And then you just start building out your pages. And I've got a ton more videos over at practiceofthepractice.com to show you how to optimize your website, how to grow your website, how to do great SEO, how to blog. Um, if you're just getting started, head on over to practiceofthepractice.com forward slash start. You can get my 28-step checklist on getting started. Have an awesome day. Thanks for letting me into your ears and into your brain. hope this was super helpful for you. Thanks. Bye.